Good morning, everybody. Hannah Kirkpatrick with Arizona Dream Living Equities Real Estate. Um, I am here at a rental that's available in Tempe. Let me show you real quick the community area with the pool. We can come back and see that. But I just did a tour uh, with some potential tenants and an agent and I figured I may as well show you guys. <laughs> I may as well show it on video uh, while I'm here and I got the key in hand. So I just turned around from the car and came back to show you this awesome little rental and maybe I'll throw in some you know, thoughts and tips on what you may wanna do as an investor if you are looking to uh, put your property up for rent and what that uh, kind of looks like. The owner of this property is an investor client of mine. So he purchases houses with me, which is why I'm willing to do the property management for him. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, okay, so this is a beautiful little property. Here's the entry. You park across the way, or you, there's private parking in the back, and there's lots of shade. There's a private walkway here that's right next to, if you guys are just coming on, right next to this gorgeous uh, barbecue area. Hey, Chad, how's it going? <laughs> and pool, community pool. Chad, take a tour of this gorgeous uh, rental in Tempe with me if you like. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk backwards. I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday. I kind of feel like a flight attendant or like a tour guide at the zoo or at the botanical gardens or something. But this is the beautiful walkway. And, okay, first impressions of the what they call the curb appeal <laughs> i think everybody knows that um so when i was first shown this property this area here that you're seeing is this cute little seating area that i love it was completely grown uh overgrown by these really kind of ugly shrubs <laughs> so tons of shrubbery here and i said to the owner look man you got to trim these these puppies back so there was tons of this aloe which is a great thing if you have a burn um but not so great thanks jen <laughs> but not so great if you are trying to enter you know your apartment so I suggested that he go get a pop of color, get some nice little seating. He got this little rug. He's gonna grab a side table, like a little cocktail table. And now they have the ability, whoever rents this place has the ability to sit out here and watch the sunset and look at the palm trees and that's cool. There is a security camera set up, which is completely paid for with no monthly fees. Always a great idea, keeps people on their best behavior. And then what he's gonna allow is for the tenants to be able to take that over and download their app so that they are in control of it. Who else is on? Hey, good morning, Edwin. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up, King? So here's the inside. Edwin, man, I'm doing a, a little tour of a new um, two bed, one bath townhouse, because it is connected to other places, that is going up um, for an investor client of mine that I'm doing property management on. So I wanted to show you guys, he bought this place a couple of years ago. It's all public record, so you can see that he spent 126,000 on this property and then he got some other concessions. Um, I didn't help him to purchase it, but I'm helping him to build his portfolio right now. And we're leasing this out. So what he did, he added these really cool stylish curtains, which afterthought, obviously that isn't the biggest part of um, doing a renovation, but it helps, right? These little details. So here's what's really cool. He tore out the old flooring and put in this uh, wide plank, really modern gray and brown linoleum, um, slash vinyl, slash composite, slash laminate, whatever you wanna call it, it is the thing that is all the rage right now. He went through and upgraded if I can show you with my camera. Oh, there it is. He upgraded every single fixture in the entire property. Let's go look outside. Let's go look outside. Okay, so this door, by the way, this door, the slider is brand new. Every single window in the place is brand new, which is a great sell to tenants because it's gonna reduce their monthly fees, obviously. Comes with a screen. This particular unit has a really nice grass backyard. He even put that on a timer, and there is a storage shed in there with a little lawnmower. Obviously, it's not a huge yard, but if you have pets or kids, um, they would love to play in that. And so the tenant is responsible for mowing, but he makes it really easy by keeping that there. Who likes to mow a lawn? Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? Oh, it's bright. Okay, so the other things um, that are a good idea if you want to bring in the highest quality tenants, you know, treat them like you would want to be treated, guys. I think we've all been in rentals. And if we're looking for people who are gonna treat this property like their own, then offer them things that make them feel like they're owners, you know? 
the barbecue grill is a perfect example of that with a little rug underneath. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up, right? Do we all want to be treated like owners? I mean, I hated, why am I talking so fast? A lot of caffeine. I hated being treated like a tenant, you know, just because I was renting and not owning. And I loved when I had a landlord that gave me the benefits, some of the benefits of ownership uh, without having to buy the property <laughs> until I was ready financially to do that. And here is something cool. The fire pit outside. Um, this was actually inside the unit and he took it out <laughs> and instead of throwing it away, he's letting them use it out here as a cool, you know, party kind of feature. So I think, right? Cool. All right, I'm not going to show you guys the little storage shed because it's not that awesome. I mean, it's nice that it's there. So in that way, it's awesome. The lock up is like go, so I don't forget. Okay, so here, I mean, guys, this is a, like I said, it's a two bed, one bath, and it's 910 square feet. So what he's looking to, it's a straight passion. I love it. Caffeine. <laughs> I know, right? I would do it in the IV if I if I could, Chad. I won't tell you. I've had my green tea latte this morning. I've had my pre-workout jam. Uh, then I did the amino acids and the hydration, and then maybe two or three cups of coffee on top after my workout today. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Caffeine is totally where it's at for me. Um, okay, so let me buzz you through, and then I'll talk to you a little bit. Remind me, you guys, to tell you about this kitchen. So when you first walk in the door, let me give you perspective. When you first walk in the door, you're going to see that to your left and then it opens up. I'll tell you as we're going by. Ideally, what would happen is that this kitchen would be open. Okay. So what I would love to do, and I talked to him about it, I think after this round of tenant, what we're going to consider doing is opening up this wall here, making the kitchen an open kitchen, and then doing a breakfast seating in there and potentially adding a half bath in this space because there's plenty of room between the front door and the kitchen currently to, uh, it's a rental property, yes, it's my client who's the owner um, and he's renting it out because he's done a lot of improvements and upgrades and it's a cash flow maker for him. Um, so yeah, so that would be the plan. If we open this up, he'll probably do it after this year of tenants because it's not super cheap, obviously, to do a full kitchen reno, but then if we added a half bath and made it a two bed, one and a half bathroom, that's a lot more desirable in the rental market than a two bed, one bath, which limits, obviously, who's gonna wanna stay here. Here's the first guest bedroom. Again, new ceiling fans, really inexpensive way. You know, spend $100 and make your room look so updated. New carpet in here and new windows with little mini blinds. Always nice. Let me flip the kitchen light on. Um, here's the kitchen. It's small, <laughs> you know, I won't lie. It has this kind of old cut through fashion. The layout is weird that the fridge backs up against the open area. So this is what we were talking about is taking this fridge. I hope you guys can see without getting dizzy, moving the fridge here against the back wall and then opening up this entire area, taking these top cabinets out moving them over to this side, that's the entry, moving them over here along this wall, making, um, an, not an island, but a breakfast bar, and then potentially even adding a half bath back there. But so either way, um, I, he updated the lighting yesterday. It had one of those, I don't know if you can see, it had one of those really awful electric lights that people do in their basements. And even though it was a newer one, I was like, you know, nobody wants that in their kitchen. And I think we could brighten it and make it a lot more modern feeling if, you know, you put a new light in. He went through and added all new doorknobs, which the hardware is not expensive. It was really easy for him to do. Here's a hint. If you're doing this after the fact, put the knob in the thin part of the cabinet so you don't have to drill all the way through <laughs> the thicker section there. Yeah. Um, if you're adding stuff like that. All right, so here is the master bedroom. Again, new fan, new windows with the mini blinds. And what else? Oh yeah, the accent wall. So the whole place is freshly painted. And if you can see behind me, he had the painters do one accent wall and kind of that grayish that's the thing right now, half gray, half beige. Just a nice way to give a little bit of that luxury feeling without spending a lot of money. So he also put, as you guys could probably see, I did not touch a light switch. So he put motion sensors 
in the closet over here because actually the uh, light switch was like back against this wall behind the door and it was really awkward <laughs> and funky. Um, I think that was this one. Oh no, this one was the one that had the pull chain and nobody wants a pull chain light. So he took off the pull chain and he made it a motion sensor. So it's super bright, LED, doesn't need to be changed very often, full walk-in. So that is a cool little hack. If anybody has a pull chain light somewhere, like old style, you can take it out and put in a motion sensor and people will dig it. This unit has built-in laundry. Interesting, right? I know, like didn't even know that that was possible probably, right? But really easy fix uh, to make your property more valuable. So here is the built-in laundry. The stack, high low. He had a couple of little issues and had to fix that himself. There's some shelving in here. It's a new hot water heater. There's nothing really to teach in here other than um, if you're doing a rental property, make sure that you add a shelving because otherwise you have people stacking stuff here and then everything drips down. Thanks, Chad. And all of the laundry detergent is gonna drip down here. They're gonna stack stuff here on the water heater. It's all going to drip down. So make sure that you give plenty of shelving like that so that people can nicely store their stuff. Okay, here's one of my favorite things about this house. Do you see how bright it is? Which in front of me, but now behind me, the bathroom. There's a skylight in the bathroom, which for a 910 square foot like townhouse, it's pretty awesome. So here's the bathroom, the only bathroom <laughs> at this point in time. But here's what the owner did. Um, you know, most of us, when we get into apartments and townhouses and rental places, we're used to the tub being grimy and sometimes even moldy or, you know, just rusting or all sorts of corrosion and gross stuff in there. And he was like, I'm not having it. I want the best tenant I can get in here. So we need a nice bathroom. He tore out the entire surround. Skylights. I know. Aren't they amazing? This one is huge. Can you guys see how big this skylight is? It's like, I don't know how to give you perspective. Um, can you see it in the mirror? Let's see, this is like five, it's like a four foot by four foot skylight. It's sick. It's amazingly awesome and it brightens up the whole place. So yeah, what he did here, um, he was asking me about the different prices. And so I'll tell you guys in case you're interested in doing a remodel. There's so many different variables and ways that you can replace a tub, shower, surround situation. You could do a full tile. Go get remnants and tile it yourself or have a tile person do it. And that's obviously going to be, you know, a moderately expensive fix. The remnants are going to be cheaper. So that's an option. The companies that will come in <laughs> and offer to do a new surround for you that fits over what you already have are expensive. I've had them quoted in houses before to be five or six thousand dollars to do a plastic single piece that they pop into your existing, um, area and I don't know. I don't think they add much value to the house. They don't look fabulous and they are stupid expensive. So I recommended that he avoid that at all costs. And instead he found a really inexpensive version of a similar concept. So he got this unit. This actually came as a three panel set, which makes it really easy. Um, this was a piece. This one here is a complete piece with this inset. It looks like a separate mosaic tile, you guys, with these insets. It's amazing. And then the third piece over there. So he didn't even have to trim anything. Um, he built out some framing around the edges, which looks really nice, as you can see. So it gives this really cool, it almost looks like a baseboard, you know, but it's really nice framing out of the tub area and the surround up there. And all of this is, of course, brand new hardware and a brand new tub underneath for a couple hundred dollars. So a lot of impact for not a lot of money. The rest of this is original. But again, the skylights make it amazing. So that is some, hopefully some cool ideas about what to do. Oh yeah, the painted, the painted cabinets. Nobody wants original old oak cabinets. What else? New hardware? I uh, showed you all the fun stuff in the kitchen. Good appliances. And we walked by the air filters. So here's a little tip about the air filters. <laughs> Don't trust your tenants to replace the air filters. They need to be changed out for the HVAC system to run properly about every month to every three months. So quarterly. If you write it into the property management agreement and the lease agreement, then we actually can build in the right to come to the property and change out 
They're not behind me. Change out the air filters ourselves, which gives us the ability to be helpful, to reduce the wear and tear on the HVAC, as well as to check on the condition of the property. So that's pretty huge. A lot of times property managers say that they're going to go to their property once a month or once quarterly. Have you guys ever rented and never seen the property manager? Because I have. <laughs> we were in a place once for two years and we were in a place once for a year and they never came to inspect the property which is cool for a tenant, but not so cool for an owner. Um, maybe it's because of the fact that we paid on time and I was constantly letting them know about when little things went wrong. So they knew that we were conscientious tenants and that we were you know, maintaining the property as if it were our own, or they were just lazy, right? And isn't it kind of weird? You know, you get into the agreement with this property manager and they're like, yeah, we're gonna come see it quarterly and check in on you. And then you're left completely hanging and all they do is take your money. So I never really liked that concept. So what I'm gonna do um, for this is, you know, the, the owner and I may alternate if he wants to keep checking in on his place and I'll check in on the place. My broker is able to come and check on the place if he's in town and he wants to do it. We're gonna come and replace the filters and we're gonna check on um, everything else while we're here. So. I think that is it for this adorable little um, renovated town home. Oh, did you want me to show you? I can show you the pool and stuff outside again, just for giggles. But do you guys have any questions? While I figure out how to lock up, let me do lights. Any questions about either how to renovate a place for a rental market or any questions about what you've seen? Let me close this up because it looks real nice. Always make sure that you hide the laundry and hide the utility areas. It gives it just that seamless, nice look. Um, all right, well, the two of you that are on, if you guys have questions, shoot them to me. Here's that cute little, you wish you lived in AZ. Isn't that adorable? Why, Chad? Because of the palm trees and the blue skies? <laughs> well, you know, you got friends here, so you can come on anytime. Um, all right, I'm gonna pop off because I got other appointments to go to, but I wanted to give you guys a glimpse into, yeah, it's a really cute place, right? And he did some great stuff with it. Um, into property management life, realtor life, um, investor life, <laughs> flipping a property to make it ready for tenant life, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but I hope you guys have an awesome day. Go find success in whatever you're doing. Yeah, money, this place is a cash cow. Um, it's gonna be renting for at least 14.50 a month. And I told you at the beginning, it's public record that he paid 126000 for it. So you do the math on that. <laughs> and once we figure, uh, or I'll help you with the math, once we figure all of the taxes and the insurance, which you do need renter's insurance, never try to rent your place out without getting additional insurance. You also need to file with your local town that the place is a rental and get a license usually to be able to do that. So you'll get in big trouble if you don't do that kind of logistical management. Um, but other than that, once he figures all of his expenses on this, including my property management fee every month, he's going to be netting probably about, conservatively, about $800 a month on this off of his $126,000 investment. So pretty sweet, y'all. <laughs> but uh, it's harder to do in this current market to get a good deal like this. Um, so these kind of deals right now are few and far between, but eventually we will. So I'm going to sign off for now. Yeah, Tempe. Um, it's right up by ASU, by anyone who's out of state, right up nearby the um, Arizona State University campus, walking district. Um, there's a new Tesla factory that's right down the street, and I think it's actually their office location. Um, there's a lot of commerce. There's a lot of nightlife. There's a lot of stuff going on here that always makes these rentals awesome. Perfect. All right, well, thank you guys for joining. It was so fun to see you, Chad and Edwin. So much fun, and um, I hope to talk to you guys again soon. Make it a great day. Bye.